Um, you know, it was a, you know, um, besides, you know, yeah, we took the loss and disappointed in how we, how we played uh, on offense especially. But the trip, it was a good atmosphere. Boys State does a good job. It's a, it's a great part of the country and, uh, you know, good crowd and uh, very loud crowd and active. So, um, you know, good experience for our players. Uh, you know, defensively, I thought we made some improvements uh, from the week before against Missouri State. I thought we tackled better. Uh, especially after the first drive, uh, you know, the first drive, um, you know, had some misassignments and some a little bit wild eyed and then they took the ball right down and scored. OK, uh, but then you get to the so it's 20 to seven at halftime, you know, still in the game. The third quarter, our defense still kept us in it. Um, I, I think the stats were, you know, 22 yards on 16 plays. So, um, you know, they they kept us in the game with an opportunity, one score to get it to a one score game in the fourth. Uh, so certainly, you know, thought our defense made some strides. Hopefully we can continue to build on that. Offensively, played well the first two games. But, um, you know, this game certainly was um, was was not something to be proud of. Uh, you know, now, don't get me wrong, Boise State had a lot to do with that. They're, they're, they're good on defense. They're good up front. They got good schemes. Uh, gave us a lot of a lot of problems uh, with their scheme and and with their personnel. Didn't help ourselves. Uh, didn't handle the noise and the movement up front. Uh, had a lot of pre-snap penalties. I think we had six on the day. So I think we started first and fifteen four different times. So uh, didn't give ourselves a lot of chance. Only had forty eight plays. So one of the worst offensive games um, um, we've ever been involved in. So disappointed in that. Uh, now we get home, uh, you know, first conference game at home, had, you know, been on the road for two weeks, coming off two losses. And then the schedule was, uh, was very difficult. Uh, but, uh, you know, now here we are. Uh, hopefully we'll get a player or two back this week from some, from some injuries that will, that will help us. And, and looking forward to practice today. So one and two is obviously not the record you want, but zero and zero in the conference. Can you talk about the distinguishing between those um, and, and where your team is three games in? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, you know, go back and look at our schedule, okay? I mean, you know, Western Illinois, um, you know, okay, we took care of business there. Missouri State's a quality team. You see, you know, where they're ranked and, you know, that opportunity with Arkansas on the road this week, played very, you know, played very well. Uh, you know, and I think you'll see Boise State win, you know, eight, nine or so games and, you know, in their league. And, you know, so, you know, quality teams we, 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 we played, um, but, you know, it is exciting when you turn the tape on, like you were referring to, and you see conference opponents, even though it's our first time to play Lindenwood, their first, you know, their first conference games. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's different because you understand it's it's kind of a, with only five conference games is more like a playoff type atmosphere as far as, you know, you you control your own destiny. Um, you know, all the all those things, you know, come into play and, um, you know, we're excited about it. So, you know, you've been in the league a long time. This is the first time you've had a brand new school join the league in that time. Yeah. And they've had two games as a division one opponent. So what have you been able to, to see from them in their limited uh, film at this level? Well, you know, one, uh, you know, you start with a playoff team last year at the division two level. So, you know, they know how to win and got established, uh, you know, coaching staff and all. And so, uh, you know, you watch some of those games, you see they're very well coached, got good players, and you move on to this year and you watch Houston Baptist game and in the last week's game. And, you know, you look at their stats, they're, I think they're leading the league in, in total defense. I believe I'm right on, on that. So, you know, every week, every week presents a new challenge for you. Um, you know, so um, all we can do is concentrate on our, on, on ourselves and playing a home game that, you know, we've done quite well at home last you know, last several years, and um, you know, we got to you got to defend your home turf. Is there anything? I mean, their quarterback had 400 yards of total offense. I know the Missouri State quarterback when you played them. I don't know if he's a similar type. He they wanted to throw the ball a lot too. Any similarities in that type of offense that that those that they're running? Uh, I think anytime you have a good quarterback, there's there's similar similarities. Uh, you know, maybe the route concepts are different or whatever. But when you've got an, you know, like us, when you have an established quarterback that's seen some things. Um, you know, that's concerning, you know, the accuracy, the experience, there's probably not a whole lot that you can show a guy that he, that he, that he hasn't seen. And, uh, you know, you don't balance the rush and the guy can get out and extend a play uh, and get them, you know, get them to a new, another set of downs. So that's always concerning, but anytime you play an established quarterback with some experience that's had success, um, you know, you'll have to play well to give yourself a chance. And you referenced defense. Uh, Rob Hicks had 11 tackles. I think it's his third double-digit performance of the year. John, and he's leading the OVC in tackles. 
John Ford's played obviously pretty well in, in the first couple of games. Thoughts maybe specifically on Rob and John and, and what they brought to the defense. Yeah, really, really proud. You know, John up to this point is it's gotten all the accolades from last year and carried over to this year. John's John's um, you know, a little bit dinged up right now, you know, um, you know, coming off of fall camp and and stuff, but he's playing through some things. But real proud of Rob. You know, Rob's a guy that transferred here from Louisville last year. Um, you know, wasn't an every down player for us last year. And, um, you know, there's some more John Ford was in there and so, some more established guys, but he waited his turn. Uh, he stayed positive, uh, you know, through it. Now it's his turn and, and, and he's making the most of it real proud of him. And I think, you know, we're, what we're really emphasizing to Rob is your tackle is going to come. Okay. Just keep playing well when it's, when it's not your play to make and, you know, control your gap and, and give guys, uh, you know, you're, you're going to make your 10 to 12, tackles that's how our defense is built but uh got to play well when it's not your turn to make the play and, and he's really concentrating on that but very very proud of rob and excited for you know the rest of the season for him all right well that's all we got for you coach we'll let you go but best of luck on uh, saturday in the ovc opener and we'll talk to you again next week hey thank you man appreciate it <laughs>